Did you know that in a cave in western Kentucky, there is a species of fish that has no eyes? And can you imagine that they can teach us an important lesson? Shalom, my friends. Yes, what I just said is true. But first, there are two things I want to share. First, I want to welcome and thank our latest patrons at the Rabbi Study, Liege and Anne-Marie Hensley. Next, I want to thank all of our subscribers. We have reached the milestone of 300 subscribers. I'll say more about becoming a patron or a subscriber, they're two different things, at the end of today's video. So now back to our eyeless fish. There is indeed a species of fish that lives in the deepest depth of Mammoth Cave in western Kentucky. There's no light in their environment. So eventually their optic nerves atrophied the whole species and they became completely blind. According to the National Park Service website, they've literally stopped growing eyes at all as a result of never being able to use them. Many years ago, not related to the fish, a British politician and writer by the name of Harold Nicholson wrote that an unrelated yet similar thing had been said by Charles Darwin about Darwin himself. Darwin, Darwin said that he once had a great love for poetry and music, but because he did not read poetry or listen to music for so many years, he eventually lost his love for them completely. In a sense, one could say that Darwin lost his musical ear the same way the eyeless fish lost their sight. And I think there's a profound lesson here from which we can all benefit. We, the Jewish people, have recently concluded our fall holidays of Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. For many, these are almost the only two days they attend synagogue during the year. And my minister friends tell me the same thing happens in their churches, that they have people who attend services almost exclusively on Christmas and Easter. Whether you think of God in a traditional sense or believe more in something like a, a higher power that is greater than we are, I think it's very fair to say that if you try to connect to that higher power or to God only a couple of times a year, it will be difficult to do so when you want to like the fish whose optic nerves have atrophied, or like Darwin who failed to develop his ear for music and poetry, we run the risk of losing our ability to connect to God if we use it only rarely. Whether it's by attending an organized religious service or by having your own personal spiritual practice, you can experience a connection to something greater than yourself on a regular basis. And a great many people find such a connection to be satisfying, comforting, and an enrichment to life. So I urge you to try it, not because you're a bad person if you don't, but because you could become like Charles Darwin missing something beautiful from your life. If you're not used to it, it may well seem strange at first, 
but I promise you that if you persevere, your comfort level and your appreciation for your spiritual practice will grow and the day will come when you will wonder how you lived without it. If you have any thoughts to share on this idea, please do leave a comment in the comments box below the video. I said at the beginning of the video that I would say a few words about becoming a patron or subscribing to our channel. Being a patron is a way to support the work of this channel financially. It costs as little as $3 a month. And if you would like to join our patrons, there is a link you can click on in the description box below the video to patreon.com forward slash the rabbi study, all one word. You can become a patron by clicking on that link. Subscribing to the channel costs nothing, but it helps us. It helps us to get YouTube to put our videos in front of more people. Now to subscribe, you do have to be logged into YouTube on your computer or your YouTube app. Unfortunately, you cannot subscribe directly from Facebook, but you should have the option on Facebook to open the video in YouTube. You can subscribe from there by clicking on my face right over here. Or you can watch the last video I released by clicking on its icon right over there. As ever, until next time, Shabbat Shalom.